colleague and friend of ours, Kevin Campbell, uh, sadly passed away over the weekend. Devastating news. I just wanted to say a few words about him as I worked alongside him a lot on Sky Sports News and Jace has obviously worked alongside him as well. Um, Jace, a, a brilliant man. Loved everything about him. Absolutely devastating news that we both got. Um, I was only working with, with Kev a few months ago um, on Sky and, and coming in here and him doing the shows here and having a chat with him. Um, always a breath of fresh air. Always lights up the room. Always made us laugh. I used to love going into Sky Sports, seeing Kev there. Um, and he was, his football knowledge was bang on. We used to talk about the old days of him, you know, being an absolute animal, uh, playing centre forward and, you know, how the game's changed and how things have, have, have um, you know, moved on. But we just, I absolutely loved working with him. When I got the news, when I heard the news, um, it really, it really touched, it really touched me and I was really, really gutted about it. And, um, it's, it's it's really a sad loss for for everyone here at Talk Sport and everyone you know in the country really. Well, yes, I, I echo all of that. <clears throat> I I found out Kev was um, not well end of April, uh, and I messaged him. I didn't know how poorly he was, and I just messaged him saying, "Hi, Kev, send you a big hug and a kiss." And he replied, "Thanks, Jace, with a heart and you know just a kissing emoji." And um, then you find out actually things aren't great. He's he's actually not well he's he's poorly and <clears throat> the news broke um 10 days ago maybe something like a bit maybe a couple of weeks ago that he was in hospital and then mm. you obviously you know that things aren't aren't great I, kevin and i go back a long way because we're the same age yeah I'm a, I'm a couple of months older than kev and i used to play against kev early teens he used to play for uh south london boys and i played against him 12 13 so i've been playing again i've known of Kev, played against Kev since I was a kid. Yeah. And, of course, my path and his path kind of mirrored one another growing up. He grew up at Arsenal. Yeah. I grew up at Chelsea, both in the youth team. He was a top player. And I played against, I was centre-half, he's centre-forward. Well, you can only imagine, you know, every game, me and him would go. I used to love the physical side of the game, Jay. Right? Yeah. I, I loved it. I liked being the, 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 the physicality side. Let me tell you, I never enjoyed playing against Kev. Right? But he was he was... He was top draw all over the... I, I didn't really get to know Kev really seriously until we went to college together. So Chelsea and Arsenal went to college together as academy in, a, in King's Cross. And it was always tricky because every Wednesday we'd go and we'd, we'd mix with the Arsenal lads and the Chelsea. We'd mix. And yeah. I got to know Kev reasonably. Not, we're great mates because we'd seen one of them once a week. Yeah, it would always be interesting like the week either before a game or after a game because, you know... That profession, that pride kicks in, and yeah. you start to, you know. Um, and then we grew up playing against one of the youth team reserves, first team. I played against Kev many, many times. We went to battle many times, um, but it, I, I really didn't get to know Kev until we we retired. Actually, that was the first time that we really got to know one another on a personal level. Yeah, I used to see Kev out and nights out. You know, I'd speak to him. It'd be. But it wasn't really until we got into the media together that I really get to know Kev and find. Mm. And I used to do um, the Highbury Squad. There's a podcast with Sophie Nicolau that he does uh, with her. <clears throat> and I was I, every time Chelsea would play Arsenal, I'd do the podcast with them and I'd speak to Kev. And I would do many shows with him. And there's a number of shows I used to do with Kev. But it, it, the thing that's come across over the last 72 hours plus, it's amazing... It, the outpouring of grief and I've got to tell you I've this has really hit me hard mm. we're exactly the same age and we you and I hear Kev see Kev you work with him on Sky I see him on Sky here on TalkSport and it's, it's hit me really hard this mm. harder than, than I, th I thought it would and it's the thing that's come across that most people have really spoke about Kev it's it's not how good a footballer he was. It's about who he was as a as a as yeah, a as a man. We we have lost a colossus of a man. Yeah, we have lost a giant of a man. We have lost. We've lost a real. He's one of the good guys. Yeah, he was. He's one of the good guys, mm. right? And he, you know, even when I I've done a sports bar with him, and we're going to play a clip out, I believe, about <clears throat> when I done the show with him, and it was a Friday night, and the laughs we had before the show. During the show, in the breaks, you know what it's like in the breaks. Yeah. And um, he's, everything that everyone has said, let me tell you now, it's, it's absolutely true. Yeah. He, he's, he, for as good a footballer he was, let me tell you now, 
he is above and beyond all of that as a man, as a human, as a personality, as company, as to be around and how he made you feel and how you felt around him. Yeah. He used to just make you feel so good, didn't he? And always laugh, and he was always smart, and he was... You literally didn't have... It was effortless. Yeah, it was effortless. It was To be in a room with him, yeah, it really was. And you don't realise when you're in that company sometimes how effortless life can be and how fun things can be and how easy it is. We we have lost... We've lost a giant, Yeah, I'm afraid, and my thoughts and prayers go out to his family, his friends, his colleagues, his, his partners. I had Perry Groves. Everyone that knows Kev... I only knew him a little bit, but I, w I knew him. Mm. R.I.P. Kev. Yeah, yeah, I'm rest easy, big man. And uh, as Jason said, we, he did do a sports bar with Kevin last March. And uh, we've put together some of the best bits of that show now for both of us and the listeners to reflect on what great company Kevin Campbell was. He'll be sorely missed by everyone here at TalkSport. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, welcome, Super Kevin Campbell. Good evening, Jay. Kev, how are you? I, I'm, I'm brilliant, Jay. I'm, I'm loving the tunes. I'm yeah, loving it all. This is it. It's Friday night, mate. So the Friday. So brilliant. I don't. Know, so I do the sports bar Monday to Thursday. So this this show is not really my show. So I can trample all over it. <laughs> I, can, I can do what I want. I can make mistakes. Well, I'll join you. <laughs> we can we can mess about with the whole show. Come back, and do you know what? It's Catrells and Coley's next week. Right. We don't care. We left foot preserved. Kev, you haven't changed a bit, mate. No, what are you changing for? Do, 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 no, what, what I mean. Okay, so here, <laughs> so here's a little bit of backstory b between me and, and Super Kev, right? So, what year did you join Arsenal as a youngster? Uh, 82. What, how old? It had been 12, 12. 12, right? So when you could sign right, then, right? couldn't you? Yeah, so I joined Chelsea at, at 12, right? So over the years, when I grew up in Chelsea's, what was then the, uh, a schoolboy, and uh, eventually got you signed schoolboy forms, and then you, you signed um, what was an apprenticeship yeah. that we did. Tra a trainee. A trainee, yeah. AP, yeah. right? AP. So I've been playing, I can remember playing against Kev pre, when I was like 15, something like 14, 15. Yeah. So of course, Kev is, is a centre forward. I was a centre back. And can you believe that nearly 40 years ago, Kev, you and I were trying to kick lumps out yeah. one another, and now we're doing a, a radio show on national radio. It's brilliant, Isn't mate. that amazing? I mean, it if is. someone said that to you back then, you go, I ain't Campbell. Straight jacket. I ain't Campbell. I, I right. put them in a straight yeah. jacket, honestly. You, you know, the battles I had with you and David Lee... Yes, yes. ...and, and, and those guys at, at, at that time were, were fantastic. It actually made us. It did. Because it was hard it games, did. tough games, and we all made it, which was great. Do you know yes. what I mean? So... To think here we are now, 53 years old, and we're a talk sport, it's brilliant. It, it, is, brilliant. it is amazing. The school of hard knocks. So, yeah, so I look, Kevin and I played against one another. I don't know. Anyone that's seen Kev play don't need to know how, what, what a, an awkward but brilliant customer he was to come up against. And to sit across you here today, Kev, and it's, it's amazing because what we used to do, this is something else that, that I'm going to re spark your memory. So, when we were apprentices, he was, Kev was at Arsenal at Chelsea. Once a week, we would have. Uh, college, yeah. right? So, so part of our uh, uh, AP or the the YTS, whatever we, we call it back then, part of the agreement was that we would have to go as a group of lads once a week to college, yeah. And it was at King's Cross. So we went Chelsea and Arsenal. We went to the same college in the same classroom with the yeah. same teacher at the same time. Yes, and we would sit there with Kate Howey. Kate Howey, MP. Kate Howey, late, yeah. late uh, Labour MP. Yeah. Kate, oh, she's lovely lady, lovely yes. lady. Right. Here's a question for you, Kev, and I hope Kate's not listening. <laughs> <laughs> I hope she's not. What did you learn from that? What did we get, Kev? Did we not? Did we pick up a certificate or something? Yeah, we picked up a certificate. What was it? But Kev? it was probably certificate in etiquette. What? It was etiquette because was it? yeah, we we done all sorts of different stuff in that in that lesson. We did a little media training, didn't we? Yeah, media training and all sorts and stuff like that. But listen, we 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 actually picked up the the, the etiquette. Um, I don't think I even collected it. Did you not? Even no, I you've didn't even collect this, it. You've not even got the proof that you've got etiquette. Yeah, yet. dear. Well, I haven't. That's yeah. the problem. <laughs> so Kevin and I, I mean, the same age of fifty-three. Yes, we are fifty-three. I know we don't look it. We're going back to our youth by having an eighties night tonight. And do you know what? If you want to play a song out, tweet the show, and we will try and play out some of your songs. A little bit of Velton. I'm still standing. Do you like a bit of Velton. I love it. Who love doesn't it, love Velton? Love it. Love it. Love it. Feel like a little kid. There you go. Once again, go, go, go. Back once again, go, go, go. Back once again, go, go, go. 
Honestly, it's like it's like going back into the eighties here. Heavy, you've got the shoulders are going, the fingers are pointing, the fingers are clicking. I'm on a dance. He's throwing shapes. Wow. I mean, th- I mean, this is. I mean, this is when this, this was like we were going into like this is late eighties going into the nineties. This was this kind of this this jazzy B moved in, didn't he? Moved it. I saw, I saw like, Jazzy a few in, weeks in, ago at the Emirates. Did you? Oh, man. He's a massive Big gooner. Massive gooner. He's a massive gooner. For anyone talks about. However, do you want? Oh, here we go. Ooh. Turn However it up. However, do you need me? It's party night here. However, do you want me? We're no strangers. Version of the minute, right? <laughs> I've got Super Kevin Cagle grooving and singing. Go on, Kev. Gonna make you understand. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and desert you. Never gonna make you cry. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.